اصلا ما يكون من جود مورنينج سوري هو التوفيق كيف هو توكل كلير ذا مينيمم ريكوير تكنس فور بريشر فيسل ويش كان كاين ذا سيرنديكال شيل يعني اتس اندر جنرال بريشر اند هاف ا فانكشنال جوينت توكل كلير ذا مينيمم ريكوير تكنس وي ماست نو وات از ذا مينيمم ريكوير تكنس ذا مينيمم تكنس ويز اول كلوجن الونز For each element of a pressure vessel, based on the appropriate design code calculations and code allowable stress, that considered pressure, mechanical and structural structural loadings. There are two types of the shells: cylindrical shells and spherical shells. Cylindrical shells contain the circumferential or longitudinal long stresses, so there will be a separate formula for each stress. We will discuss circumferential stress formula in our today topic. Cylindrical shell which contain the longitudinal joint, they contain the circumferential stress. So for this one, when P does not exceed 0.385 SE, it means the P less than 0.385 SE. The following formula apply in accordance with the ASME 8.1 UG27. Here is the formula: P is equal to P R over SE minus 0.6 P. Where T is the required thickness of shell, E is the joint efficiency in accordance with the UW12, or is the inside radius of the shell force and extrusion, as is the maximum allowable stress in accordance with the ASME 2 part D sub part 1, P is equal to internal design pressure. To have the proper understanding, we'll use an example a vertical pressure vessel in water service with type 1 category A, long seam valve is 10 feet. I seam is made from 1 by 2 inch, which means 0 0.5 inch thick SA516 scale 17 material, and the S value is given is equal to 17,500 psi. Is stamped for an MAWP maximum allowable working pressure of 100 psig at the rate of 650 for night, and is also stamped as a RTC, which satisfies the spot radiography rules with an ID of. Exchange. What is the minimum thickness of this vessel excluding the hydrostatic head? In this example, there is no hydrostatic head. From the above data, we will have this data shell which is cylindrical, joint is long width on which the circumferential stress is acting, material SA516 grade 17, material thickness 0 0.5 inch, maximum allowable working pressure 100 psi, and hydrostatic head is 0. And temperature is 650 for night, which is equal to 343 centigrade. And this data is required to calculate the minimum required thickness, which is P is equal to maximum allowable working pressure plus HH, which is the hydrostatic head. As we know, the maximum allowable working pressure is 100 psi, and hydrostatic head is zero. So 100 plus 0 is 100 psi, hydrostatic head is not included as in this problem. E is 0 0.85 from ASMIR division 1 table 2 W12 type 1 category A spot radiography. It means when you will go to the ASMI 8 division 1 table U W12 and we have the type 1 category A and spot radiography is the requirements. So in when you will go to the ASME 8 division 1 table you will to against this one you will have the E0.85 and as value is given is 17,500 psi if you, this value is not given in the example then you have to go to the ASME 2 part E sub part 1 table 1A and ID is uh, 60 inch so the radius will be 30 inch and we have to calculate the minimum required thickness. To qualify the equation criteria, we need to plug in the values into this requirement. And we plug in the values into this requirement, we find the value 5726 psi, which is less than the p value. So, it calculates the equation criteria. We can use this formula from UG27. Then we plug the values into this equation. We will find the minimum required thickness which is 0.202 inch. 
and this is our minimum thickness. Normally, this equation is used for calculating the minimum square thickness for the shell. Thank you very much for watching Question Inspection channel. For queries and feedback, contact us on this email ID. Currently, like, watch, and subscribe our channel to have the more videos for your knowledge.